Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our tech is and this is Sony Xperia E3 in my hand. And the problem is that whenever I try to turn on this phone, it's stuck on this Sony Xperia logo screen. And sometimes it's a restart on the Sony wallpaper, means Sony live wallpaper screen. So this is uh, starting, uh, it's booting up and see, power back, okay. And in this screen, it just reboots. After 5 or 10 seconds later, it will reboot. Okay, this is it. So it's reboots now again. So this is the problem which I am facing with this phone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how can you fix that problem. So basically, uh, to fix that, you require the original cable with this phone, uh, which comes with this phone, original cable. And first of all, uh, turn off this phone properly with holding the power key and the volume up and down for 15 to 20 seconds. And those phones who have already, uh, means uh, in those phones, uh, this method will not work then there in that phone there is a external power button power off button will be there so you can take it uh, you can okay it seems in this phone also a power in this phone this is also a power button external power off button so you can turn off the phone properly from that section just take a pin and here it is uh, the off button on the back this is off so just simply press this um just with the help of a pin just press over this power button so now it's uh, means off button now it's the phone is completely off now now let's directly jump in the computer so so here it is now we so first of all download this Xperia companion from the given link below the description after downloading that simply install it and after installing that just open the Xperia companion and well so later so when you open that you will get software repair so select software repair so as it is a phone so i will select this phone here and now next yes next so here it is and in this process you require a internet connection means a good internet connection the initialization will come will takes around uh, five minutes for the first timer so be patient for that take the cable and just simply connect it okay. so first check the initializing will complete properly Okay, it seems a uh, Sony mobile update engine setup so yes and Okay, now here it is uh, uh, Sony Xperia repair so first of all let's read that turn off your device properly and after five seconds uh, of turning off just press and hold the volume down key and then while holding just connect this to the computer okay, okay. 
it's not properly done so my cable is too short uh, to reach the usb port so now again do the process hold the uh, volume down key and then connect it okay and it's installing the driver software so let, let it install and wait until the uh, this tab this uh, tab will automatically proceed to the next step so wait for that and okay now it's uh, scom flash device is completely installed so now on the next step yes i understand all this uh, and the very important thing is that your all the data whichever in your phone will be deleted if you, you if you have already sd card inserted then the data of the sd card will not uh, delete it will only delete all the uh, it's showing it's a sd card will not uh, yes right it's content of the sd card will not delete as it is so uh, the all the data of the phone memory will completely delete it so next step so it is repaired ready to prepare software version here yeah let's next okay it's uh, repairing the xperia device and the repairing process will takes around uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, it's completely depends upon the uh, network speed of the com network speeds if you have a uh, slow internet uh, means uh, speed then it will takes around 30 to 1 hours so let's see and it's repairing it's it's downloading means at, at, the, at this repairing your device point it's downloading the uh, file of the phone and let's say there whenever it will reach the uh, downloading process it will automatically proceed to the next step so just wait for that and on the while inst while uh, this uh, while on this repairing device uh, option make sure that you uh, does not remove the sd i mean say usb cable if you uh, remove this uh, USB cable then it might be chance that your uh, your phone will be completely bricked so it does not remove the uh, USB cable until the process will done
So now it seems uh, say completing the data, it's installing. Uh, please wait finishing installation. This may, may will take uh, several minutes. And on the on this point, do not disconnect the device. Okay, now it seems it's completed successfully. Now it's saying uh, disconnect your device and turn on your device. So now I'm disconnecting it and and now let's see. Uh, now let's turn on the phone. And the first boot will definitely takes uh, much longer on than a normal boot. So it's, this is the Sony sound. Now let's see. It will definitely takes around five minutes. Let's see how much time does it take. Okay, put the phone here. You can take the phone here and you can play Clash of Clan on the other side. So I'm playing my Clash of
okay now it's on so here it is uh, so now it's completely on so first of all select the language so done sim card please enter sim card and restart phone so to restart the phone required required sim card So it is all the files here so it's, it's completely fixed now so in that way you can easily fix your uh, dead Sony Xperia phones or a uh, like a, a Xperia phone stuck on the Xperia logo and it, this method will work on all the Sony devices means Sony Xperia phones tabs or watch so this is the way so thanks for watching this video if you like my video please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video